Less than 20% of ICT professionals in Europe are women. Despite its huge growth potential, the ICT sector is suffering from an acute shortage of personnel. Why are so few women attracted to career in information and communication technology? We could simply presume that young women are not sufficiently interested in ICT for it to become a career choice. But how are preferences and vocations actually formed? We have to go back a long way to childhood to find the first explanations. The majority of adults treat children differently according to gender, encouraging boys to join in boys' activities and girls in girls' activities. The difference in treatment is persistently reinforced by other factors such as the media, peer attitude, and education. From the age of three, children start to observe models of the same sex and often mimic their behavior, tastes, and attitude. So what makes ICT be perceived as masculine? Machines have always been associated with men and as early as the age of four or five, children already rank computers as toys made for boys. As teenagers, we again come face to face with strong gender-based conditions, coinciding with the time when we are making important study choices that will shape our future. Most girls shy away from the popular career path chosen by boys, such as ICT, because they are seen as unfeminine and for fear of being in an environment where they are in the minority. As a result, less than 25% of ICT students in higher education in Europe are girls. For women who acquire an interest in ICT at a later stage in life, it is possible for them to change orientation or jobs. But all too often, the many continuous training programs on the market require specific technical skills up front, thereby excluding a substantial number of women. From childcare facilities to potential career change, multiple influences and obstacles prevent them from following a career in ICT. This sums up why so few women are attracted to ICT studies. To contribute to equal opportunity for all European citizens and boost an economical sector with the future, we need to ask ourselves, what can we do? What should our role be? First of all, let's be critical about the behavioral models that are presented to us. Gender-based stereotypes are deep-rooted. They are transmitted, adopted, accepted, and even protected by society as a whole. Acknowledging them is a first important step towards fighting them. As parents, for instance, we can let children experiment in all kinds of activities, regardless of gender. If we work in training centers, high schools, or universities, which offer ICT classes, let's be proactive with women. Let's review our promotional materials. A message free of prejudice and a smart choice of images can do wonders. In the classroom, we should welcome students without stigmatizing them and at the same time provide a clear message that sexism will not be tolerated. Let's promote success stories of women who have completed their studies and embarked on a stimulating career in ICT. We need to provide accurate information on jobs in the sector, dismissing the idea of difficulty or inaccessibility and focusing on abundance and variety. Employers should be aware that they can draw numerous benefits from engaging more female staff and opening up to a diversity of profiles, factors which can only lead to higher performance rates, better work organization, and increased customer satisfaction. This is an effective way of attracting new talent from all walks of life. In conclusion, each of us has a role to play. Together we can build a more inclusive society that is fairer and more successful. Let's make the ICT sector an example of this. There is wealth in diversity. Let's promote it.